Hello there, fellow collectors. It is Sneaker back with another video. Today, I am bringing you a very special sneak peek at the newest case from Maju Space called the Mono, which is set up right behind me here. First off, I want to say thank you so much to Brian from Maju Space for giving me the opportunity to review this unit. I'm really excited to talk about it with you guys and hopefully give you some information that will help you make a decision as to whether or not you want to add this case into your display area. With that being said, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then ring that bell to be alerted to any future content coming from me. So I'm really excited to talk about this. Let's get into the review of the new Mono from Maju Space. So first I wanna talk a little bit about the packaging. So this is a long flat packed box. And as you can see, everything is packaged really well with this nice dense foam. It was well protected. I didn't have anything damaged in the shipment. And then real quick, I just wanted to show this label that was on the box showing the box size and the weight. So you have almost 67 inches by 26 inches by three inches, and then 30.8 pounds for the weight of the box. I didn't have any problem carrying this down my basement stairs by myself. So for assembly, I started with the bottom base and attached a couple of the channels and then the back panel, which was relatively easy because then you can get it nice and sturdy and stable as you're trying to put on the other pieces. So then here on the bottom is where you have to put in the screws and these little washers to get the aluminum channels to connect into these little rectangles. And then you see these four pre-drilled holes in each corner. So those are for the base risers, which I'm gonna show here in a second. Uh, but it's really nice. It's all pretty much set up for you. There's not a lot of guesswork involved. I didn't even have instructions and this was relatively easy to figure out. And then one other nice thing about the top and bottom boards is that they are made of block wood. So they are going to be a better quality than getting, say, like a particle board. And then here are the little risers that go onto the bottom that you drill into the holes. These are really nice. I'm really happy that these are included. You just take this little circular piece and you twist it to the height that you want. And then once it's upright, you can just level it out to make sure that they're all equal, but really easy to set these up. And I'm really happy that these are included to elevate the display off the floor a little bit because I have these risers under my other display cases. So one of the annoying parts of the build, and if you have Maji spaces, you know what this process is like here, but peeling this paper off of the acrylic panels is time consuming. Every time you pull on it, sometimes it rips. So as you can see in the photo, there's all these rips along the edges, but as you pull it, it either rips or sometimes you can get a good pull and you get lucky where you get a large section of it where it doesn't rip. Uh, that's always nice, but for the most part, it kind of tears and rips as you go along. So this is just, like I said, something time consuming, not hard to do by any means, but it does take some time when you have three separate acrylic panels that you have to peel off. So I'm going to talk about the shelves and some of these other things as I get into the video portions of the review. But as far as this photo goes here, my first impression with having this actually built is that this is a premium product. You have these really nice aluminum channels, you have the acrylic panels, and it just has a sturdy feel to it. It is a lot like the other Maju spaces. So if you have those in your collection, you kind of already know what this product is like because it meshes really well with those. It's made of the same materials. So like I said, this is just something that feels premium to me. And I'm going to elaborate on that throughout the rest of the review here. However, another thing I noticed right away, especially when I turn these lights on, is that they are definitely too bright. So I've relayed this information to Brian already. He is going to work on a potential fix, but yes, the lights are definitely too bright. It really brightens up the figures too much as well. So that is one of the first downsides of this case right off the bat, but hopefully this is something that can be simply fixed. So now let's get to some footage of figures in this case. And I got to say, I'm really happy with how this looks once you get figures in it. The ability to adjust the shelves however you want without disrupting the lighting is a huge plus for me. Being able to fit Carnage into this case without a problem because I can just simply adjust the shelves is definitely a win. You know, with some of these other cases, you have the lights horizontally attached onto the shelves. So you can't adjust the shelves because it tugs on the cables and usually those lights are really snug fitting where you don't have adjustability in the shelves. So adjustability of the shelves for me is something that is a huge plus because I want to be able to display bigger figures in this display case. 
So yeah, I am really happy with how figures look in this once you have it fully set up and displayed. So as far as adjusting the shelves, you have these little pieces here, these brackets that go underneath each shelf. And right now the screws are too long. So when you screw these into the aluminum channels, the brackets stay loose. So that is a negative of the prototype, but something that's simply gonna be fixed. Shorter screws are gonna be included in the final production of the case so not a big deal but as you can see these things kind of freely move you can get them to stand up straight though so not a problem in the meantime and revisiting these lights here so this is nice it's one long light strip that goes with double-sided adhesive sticky dots onto the aluminum channel and then you have this nice cable management at the bottom that goes out of the back of the case you have this cable hider on the bottom which i think works very well and then one other issue that i had with these lights is this only comes with one power supply and that got too hot. So I grabbed another small power supply that I had from one of my Maju Space DF cases, and they still got pretty hot. So I relayed this information to Brian. I don't know if this is gonna be fixed with either having a large power supply, or maybe when the lights are dimmed, it won't have as much power output, and therefore they won't get as warm. But either way, something that is likely to be fixed for the final production of the cases. So like I said, I'm really happy with the design of these lights going up the entire aluminum channel. You have one light strip. It's different than these other cases where they're going horizontal and you have to worry about the cables. This is just a really clean setup, easy setup, and you don't have to worry about breaking any cables when you're moving anything. So next I want to talk about this front acrylic panel. So it has these thicker bezels with this black tape around it here. And this is kind of an up close photo here showing that, but I think this is necessary. I went back and forth on this of like, could they do a thinner bezel? But if you look right here in this photo, you see kind of like that black bar right in the middle of the screen, that's the light. I feel like if this was any thinner, you would probably see the light strips. And I don't think that that's something that necessarily can be changed. So I think you want these thicker bezels on here to make it so that when you're looking at the case you're seeing the figure and you're not really seeing the light strips so this is something that i'm okay with i think it looks fine when you're looking at the figures in the case i don't really think it detracts from anything and then one other thing i want to say something that i like is this little fabric piece on the top left corner that allows you to open this case really easily i think that's a great addition so this little tab that you can just grab onto and pull and it'll it'll pull the the front cover right off and then another thing is these magnets are strong on this front cover so i actually pulled this corner away and the panel was still uh, magnetically stuck to the case even though i had a corner pulled away so that's really nice you don't ever have to worry about the panel falling off or anything the magnets are very strong so next i just wanted to talk about comparing all three of these cabinets here with the bleed-in from ikea on the left and then you have the mono from Maja Space in the middle, and then the Detolf from Ikea, now discontinued on the right, but is still a very popular choice, obviously, among collectors. So with the mono, you get more height. You're at 66.4 inches. The Belieden is 59 and a half, and the Detolf even is 64 in an eighth so the detolf even comes in as at a little bit shorter and the difference between the mono and the bleeding is about seven inches and then as far as the width goes the mono and the detolf are pretty comparable the bleeding is definitely smaller with it looks like 12 to 13 inches and then the mono and the detolf are around 17 inches so definitely more width with the mono versus the bleeding and then lastly, the mono has slightly more depth than the Detolf as well. It looks like 16 versus almost 14 and a half, 15 ish inches on the Detolf. And then the Bleeden obviously is smaller. So if you want the biggest case, the mono is the best choice. You have more height, width, and depth, especially versus the Bleeden, which is the now available one. Like I said, the Detolf is discontinued. So you're going to be getting a lot more room with this newer mono case. 
So hopefully this is a helpful graphic because I know the DTOLF is still really popular, especially even though it's discontinued in the secondary market, people are still going to be buying and selling these. So it's still an available option for collectors. And then the Blaliden is the one that a lot of people are now getting because Ikea has that readily available. So I wanted to do this comparison. Hopefully this was helpful for you all, or at least help somebody, because I think a lot of people are going to be picking between these three cases. So hopefully this helps somebody out there watching this video when you're making your decision. So a couple other important things to talk about, one of them obviously being price, which is a main thing for everybody. Uh, hopefully this can stay around like the 220 mark before shipping. And it looks like, say you live on the East Coast, it looks like shipping is going to be no more than $30 for UPS. So you're looking at $250 a shipped. And depending on where you live, that could be a little bit less. So hopefully that price point holds. It's not definitive yet, but I think if they can hit that price, I feel like that is a worthwhile value. I feel like you are getting your money's worth with this product. I think when you compare that price point to some of these other cabinets like the Detolf and the Blaliden, when you buy those cabinets and then you add everything in like your lights and then weather stripping or like weatherproofing that people like to do on those cases to prevent dust from coming in. And you know, you need adhesive tape to anchor the channels for the lights onto the shelves. So that stuff starts to add up by the time you spend that amount of money and you get into the 180 plus dollar range for those things. At that point, I feel like it's justifiable to spend a little bit more and get this when you're getting such a more premium product with higher quality parts and materials. I think that that is really the way that I personally lean towards going when it comes to getting this versus some of these other display cases. And then another really important part of this for me, and the reason why I got rid of all of my Detolfs was the glass. I personally do not want to have any glass around my display or in my basement. So for me, it's a little bit different because I have two young kids where they're running around and sometimes they go up and they put their hands on, you know, my cases now. And if that were glass, that would be definitely a risk if it was to shatter or break. So that was the reason that really led me to get rid of my Detolfs. And this was really the cabinet for me, the display case that I wanted to have as a replacement, something that has fully acrylic sides. It can't really be damaged. You know, you have to really hit the acrylic. You would have to hit it very hard in order for that to be damaged. So I feel like this is a really, you know, more safer alternative for me, especially having kids. And I know that, that that's not for everyone, but, and then also, even if you bump into it by accident, you're not going to risk shattering anything. So I feel like for me, that's a big plus having the acrylic over glass for me personally in my collection space. And then a couple of other things I wanted to mention about the product. So as far as the shelves go, the shelves have a felt side and they also have a laminate side, like a, a black laminate. So if you want like the harder side versus the softer felt side, you have that option. And then the shelves have a 22 pound weight capacity each. So that's really nice. If you want to put something up to 22 pounds, that's pretty sizable and heavy. So that's really nice to have that option as well. And then the mono has a couple optional things. You will be able to, if you want to get acrylic shelves as an option. And then there is also a single riser that you can get for the case or a, I think it's called a cupboard riser that you can have up to four mono cases sitting on top of that at once. So those are really nice options that you can have. If you want to go that route, uh, you're going to have to likely pay extra for those things, but that is just something nice. If you want to uh, elevate your display or have just a couple of other options for it. So lastly, I want to talk about product availability. So I know a lot of people bring up the fact that Maji Space has long wait times on their current set of cases and people's orders. This product is going to be different. So the mono is subcontracted out, which means they have a contractor making these for them because they're a lot easier to build than their current uh, inventory of cases. So it's subcontracted out and that contractor has the ability to to make 200 units per batch. So starting in the second week of April, there's going to be an order window for, I think, a couple weeks. Um, and then that first batch is going to be 200. And then every six to eight weeks after that will be another 200 initially. I don't know exactly how that's going to change over time. It's going to start at 200. Is that going to evolve? That's something that we will wait and see, but that's how it's going to start. So 200 per batch. And it's going to be, like I said, six to eight weeks out after each batch is completed and done. So 
this isn't something you're going to be waiting a really long time for. This is going to be a product that's more readily available, which is another plus. Obviously, people want to get their cases into their hands, and I get that, but I just want to make that differentiation that this product is different from the other cases and products that they currently uh, have offered and ones that people have ordered and have been waiting for. So to summarize my thoughts, I think this case is awesome. I'm so happy to have it. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up another one. I think this is a great product, a premium product. And yes, the price is a little bit more than what you're going to pay, but I personally believe that it's worth it. And, you know, we have these really nice figures and I feel like it's worthwhile protecting them with quality products as well for me personally. So I'm really happy with it. I hope this review was helpful for you guys and you guys can let me know down in the comments below. Is this something that you are considering buying? Are you going to go with one of the other options? I would love to hear your thoughts. So please drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already on your way out, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you like one six scale content and news and ring that notification bell to be alerted to future content coming your way. But until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching and collect carefully.